Good morning. So I wanted to talk to you today about why it's so important to have a kingdom spouse, especially in these times. This person is going to be the one who's going to help you with every decisions that you need to make, especially if you do have an anointing. I don't know, the anointing could be for ministry or for teaching or the enhance on people and healing and um, singing. I'm not too sure, you know, different gifts. But you need to be with that person because a lot of people are going to come and they are going to be telling you what to do, you know, especially higher uppers. And that's what I heard, you know, there's a lot of out of the all of a sudden out of the woodwork, these pastors, preachers, they're all going to come out. So that's why you need your kingdom spouse badly. So I wouldn't listen to anybody but the Holy Spirit. But this person is full with the Holy Spirit. This person, it's made for you. And this is the only way that his job is going to be done these times. Because nobody is listening right now. They're doing their own thing. And I remember Paul had issues with this too, with the people. And it's so crazy because... um. He was with Jesus, right? He was with Yeshua, so he knew everything. And they just distorted everything that was um, taught. And he's trying to tell them, and all they did was just reject them. And that was sad to, when I read that in the Bible, it was really, I could put, I put myself in that position and how I'll feel, right? When you have the favor of God, you don't you don't need to do all these things because it's already been set in place. It's like I feel like we are in a big um, theater right now, you know, and the players are in place, and everything is gone according to scripture, and um, you're not gonna be blessed more. Or, or less if you fast you know the fasting is what I seen is kings had asked for the fast kings need to ask for this fast they need to ask for this fast usually that's what's in the Bible mostly they were kings that would if you want to do a personal fast it's fine but um, it has to be led by the Holy Spirit. And um, don't feel bad if you cannot do it. Don't feel bad. I was told to enter into his rest. And then all of a sudden I see this fast here, that fast there. And I'm thinking, what's going on? You know, because um, I didn't hear anything about fast unless it's um, the, the Esther fast that's coming up. So I don't understand all of this, but you're not going to be blessed more or less. If you, whatever is for you, you're going to get it. Whether you fast or you don't fast, whether you're wicked or whether you're good. This is what happens. So um, you're not going to be blessed more or less because you fast. No, that's not true. You know, if you do things out of your heart, that's a different story. You could fast. It doesn't have to be food because there's a lot of people who don't, they're not too crazy about food. I have a neighbor who she's, doesn't cra she's not crazy about food, but it's something that you like a lot. Like, for example, coffee. I'm a coffee lover, you know? That's my thing. So I have to let go of coffee. I love to be on YouTube, you know? I love to watch all these different opinions and all these different things uh, whatever you know so I'm gonna fast from that so it doesn't have to be mostly food because what you're gonna do the person doesn't like to eat right so um, it's something that you really love to do back in the day yeah more well, for the most part it was food right it, it, it's not like now that they didn't have all things like entertainment and sports and and all these different things they didn't have um 
but now we do and we mostly are addicted to our phones so that's that's a fast that you could do also that shows God your heart um I don't know you don't you're not gonna be blessed more or less and you have to have a reason for the fast I fasted because I was desperately needing to know where was I gonna go I cry out to God I did it for a long time because I was not getting the complete revelation so I did the Daniel fast and it's called basically intermittent fasting which is pretty good for you actually and a lot of people I think is hearing from God right now because they're doing the intermittent fast, fasting, which is pretty, um, it's very popular right now to do this fast. Um, so about the kingdom marriage, yeah, you need somebody next to you that, you know, you could pray about things because there's going to be a whole bunch of voices coming around you. And, um, they might mean well, I don't know. But they are going to try to tell you what to do or what not to do. And God doesn't want that. He wants you to be with somebody that the, your, the voice that you hear, they're going to hear it too. So it's not like you're going to hear one voice, he's going to hear another. No, you both are going to hear the same voice. And you're going to have that support system there too. Right? Because you need that badly. So, um, the enemy is going to get stronger, much stronger. And that's why he needs this. God bless you guys.